Welcome to the February edition of Spotlight on Downtown. I'm Michael Harrington sitting in for John Shanahan. Today we're at 124 Pleasant Street, which is the Meals on Wheels program here, the main site in Bennington County. And we're going to be talking with uh, Susan Fox, the director, uh, about uh, what today is called National Tortellini Day, right? And that's, that's right. the meal for today. Yeah. Susan, tell us a little bit about yourself first and how you came to be part of this program. Okay, well, it's kind of an interesting story. Um, I'm an ex-social worker and I'm French trained in cooking and I realized that a lot of people were not eating properly and I just really got involved in learning how to cook and helping people and I appreciate the fact that we've been able to make some changes here in the way people are eating at home. People that wouldn't be able to get a nutritious meal are uh, now getting a home cooked meal that's appealing and familiar to them and they're very happy. Great. So uh, now I'm the executive director, and I also get to be the fill-in chef when people are out. Uh, we, ha we have a small operation, so I get to do just about everything at one point or another. And I, I really like that. Good. So give us the lay of the land. Tell us about the organization and Bennington County specifically. Okay. Well, we've been in operation since 1996. Uh, and it's been a pretty much a traditional Meals on Wheels program all along. And we sort of felt that there was a need in the community for something a little bit more modern than just a traditional Grange Hall sitting around type of environment. And we came up with the cafe uh, and it's been in operation for about three years. It's a bit of a secret. People don't always know that it's here. The signage is not great in the senior center. Uh, but now we have a group of regular people who come in and it's a great way for everyone to sit and socialize and have a great meal and feel comfortable. If they come alone, um, they can meet up with friends. People are very welcoming here. So it's a nice change and something to offer the community. Now you have other sites in the county as well, so tell us about those. Okay, we have uh, other community meal sites in Arlington that are on Tuesday and Thursday, and in Manchester in the town hall on Tuesday and Thursday, and also way over in Stamford, over by the Massachusetts border. And uh, in addition to that, most of our meals are actually home delivered. Mm -hmm. So here uh, at this site, how many regulars do you get and how many meals do you actually ship out to homes? Okay, well at this site we do, every day we do between 100 and 120 home delivered meals. Okay. And then we'll have anywhere from 20 to 50 people come through for lunch every day. So what's on today's menu? It's Tortellini Tuesday, Mike. <laughs> and my assistant, Vicki, is a very good detective. She finds a lot of cool little things to kind of make each day special. And we're going to be having tomorrow is Valentine's Day. We have heart-shaped meatloaf and heart-shaped cookies and Valentine's that some kids from the, I think it's Har Harrington Hall School okay. did. and Highland, Highland Hall, I'm yeah. sorry. And uh, everyone's going to be getting a Valentine and a little something special in their bag at home. And we have some decorations we're going to be putting up here. And it just it makes every day a little special if you have something, some sort of a theme. Yeah. So we just try to have fun with it. That's great. So tell us a little bit about the staff here at this site. Well, our staff is really, um, I, I must say, we have a great group of people. It's a lot of fun to work with them. And we're all very creative. Uh, we like to try to do things a little bit differently, and I like to try to bring out everybody's, you know, strengths in, as far as the staff goes. My assistant, Vicki Gardner, is fantastic. If you haven't checked us out on Facebook, uh, she, she runs our Facebook site, and it's just a real fun way to interface and see what's for lunch and see what's happening. Uh, our head chef, Sarah John, in the kitchen, you'll meet, and... She's just a very community-oriented person who just loves what she's doing, and we've really been able to change the organizational culture here to kind of reflect personal caring, and I think that's what I really want to try to get across to people, that this is about trying to make our neighbors feel that there's somebody out there that cares about them, that will make sure that they have a meal and have a friendly conversation every day, if it's at home or if it's in a meal site. Mm -hmm. And um, I just think that's a really nice gift to give to people. That's great. I think it's a great asset in this community. 
tell me just briefly about kind of your plan or vision for the organization over the next couple years. Well, I would like to have more of, of these types of cafe environments. I think it's a great way to bring people together. I mean, as you can see now, people are coming in and they're all happy and they're having a great time and some fun. Uh, it's also a very cost-effective way to run an organization. And we want to try to get different age groups involved that are in the community. We try to have children come in here. Yesterday, someone brought in their grandchild, and that was a big a big focal point mm -hmm. and it, it just makes it fun for everyone so I'd like to have more of these and I could see where this is a great thing to have in the community all throughout Vermont I'd love to have be able to do this all throughout Vermont that would be my real dream great Susan thank you very much thank we're you. gonna take a tour and walk okay. around and check out uh, some thank other, you, Mike. And, you other know, things I just want to invite you also to stay for Tortellini Tuesday mm -hmm. and see what the real food is like perfect that's Thanks how that's how we'll close the show okay, all right perfect thank you Susan Great. We're here with uh, Jane Plunkett, who is a regular here at the uh, Bennington Cafe. Jane, how are you? I'm quite fine, thank you. Great. So tell us a little bit about uh, your experience here uh, and how that's I'm been. I'm delighted to be here. Uh, I come from New York, and there's not too much activity in Vermont. And I, uh, I was accustomed to going out every day to eat breakfast or lunch. And I found uh, coming here satisfies that need. And uh, I, I talked to Susan about a year ago, and it was very quiet here at the time, and she wanted to get more people. Uh, I go to the Arlington lunches, and wherever I went, I began to tell them about this place. And then it didn't come, and finally this year, uh, came by one day and it was full of people. And I think what happened was they uh, hired a very talented chef mm -hmm. and uh, Susan herself is very dynamic and uh, you would want to be anywhere that she is. But uh, I think that's the dif difference. Uh, Sarah is a very uh, gifted chef and she's got a lot of imagination and a lot of experience. Uh, she makes different kinds of foods from different countries. And uh, she, the emphasis is on vegetables. That's what I like. Uh, it's a very helpful and interesting um, menu here. And then you have choices. That's another thing. So it's more like a, a restaurant or a cafe. It's intimate. People are friendly. They come out and talk with us. That's another thing I think has made it um, a friendly, comfortable place to be. And um, so. I think it's terrific, and I just hope it <laughs> continues. Well, terrific. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and you have a little bit of an interesting background as well, right? You have some fashion background as well. Oh, yeah. I grew up in New York, and uh, I worked in the industry, in the garment industry, yeah. and in Europe. And, and what brought you to Bennington? Oh, long story. <laughs> I bought a house in Rupert and uh, then came to Arlington. And I like Bennington very much. Yeah. And how long have you lived in the area? Oh, I had a house here for about 32 years. Great. And uh, now Arlington, I've only been here for four uh, months. Uh, what's interesting in this part of South, South Forest and Vermont is there are, for me at least, there are more people from other places and uh, it's a more cosmopolitan atmosphere and um, and this cafe uh, gives it a, a place to share uh, our experiences and so on. Well Jane, thank you very much for your oh, time. Thank you. Yes. We're good. Uh, we're here with George. George, what's your last name? Oh, B-A-L. All right, Paul. Well. I, I, as I told your camera person, <laughs> I did this for over 25 years. Did you? Yeah. Oh, and w where did you do it? I did it here locally for Channel 12. All right. That was associated with Adelphia. Yep. Great. Better, yeah. So you're an old pro. Yeah, and I used to do things like this and send it to the network. Terrific. Terrific. So tell us a little bit about your experience here. Oh, I... I've been here coming about nine months. The meals are fantastic. Uh, and I recommend it to anybody, mm -hmm. any age. Mm -hmm. so. so have you lived in Bennington all yep. your life? Yep. 
and I would recommend it to anybody come in and try it. Great. Now, are you here every day? Yep. Yep. And what's your favorite meal? I hear everything's good here. Yeah, everything. Is good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite though? No. Nope. Okay. I just come for the company and great. And I I wish people would uh, know me over the years. Yeah. To give it a try. Terrific. Well, good. We'll let you get back to eating your meal. Okay. Thanks, Thanks George. Yep. Appreciate it. Great. So t uh, introduce yourself to us. Tell us a little bit about your experience here. Oh, uh, my name is Audrey Jones, and I come from Shaftesbury because uh, the meals are so good here. <laughs> we like the idea of a choice. Terrific. And as you can see, it's pretty, pretty attractive, and it tastes pretty good, too. Yeah. And You're known as one of the regulars here, I've been told. Well, yeah. Uh, Twice a week we usually go to uh, East Arlington for okay. lunch, but uh, Mondays and Wednesdays we usually come here. Great. If we're going to be in Bennington, it's really handy. Yeah. yeah, and you're usually here with your friends? I'm usually here with my husband, too, but <laughs> he's not here today. But yes, we, we, this is kind of our table. Great. But, well, terrific. You know, people come and go. Yeah, terrific. And how about yourself? I'm, I'm Peggy Jones. All right, Peggy. And I come here the same as Audrey. Yeah. Yes. So how did you get to know this place? Um, how did I get to know? I really don't remember. <laughs> you've been, Somebody you've been coming must have here told so long, me. right? Somebody must have told me about it. Great. Yeah. And your experience has been positive here? Very, yes. Good. Yeah. Terrific. Very good. Food good. is great. Great. Well, yeah. we'll let you get back to eating. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget the people here, too. They're very accommodating. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Thank you. Lucas, I'm from Arlington. Mm -hmm. I come down here at le usually about twice a week. And... Uh, when I come to Bennington, this is a good place to get, get lunch. And what are the meals usually like? <clears throat> Very good. And uh, <clears throat> you have a choice of meals. You can come in at different times. They don't, you don't have to make an appointment. And it's just uh, a lot of people here we know and have a lot of fun talking. Great. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> great. We're here in the kitchen of the Meals on Wheels program with Sarah John. Sarah, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for coming in again. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, so tell us a little bit about how you select the meals and where your inspiration comes from for setting the meals. Okay. Well, uh, we have to abide by the Verm uh, Older Vermonters Act, which is um, given to us through the Council on Aging. So there's nutritional guidelines that we mm -hmm. need to follow. Um, and we all believe that cooking from scratch helps people, um, as opposed to processed meals, to help with their nutrition and to then help prevent, you know, uh, other health problems. Um, so we do a lot with um, fresh produce, especially in the summertime with our local farms and using communications that way. Um, we also believe that you eat with your eyes first. So we try and do a lot of colorful meals. So the people who are at home specifically who are not really all that hungry because of medications or whatever, they might decide, oh, well, this looks good and I'm going to have that. Great. So you said that uh, some of the meals are the same as what goes out on the road, but people can also come and get it to go. So tell us a little bit about how that works. Sure. So we serve about 100 people at the moment um, on the roads, and all of our meals are out of here between 9.30 and 10, so they have a hot lunch for themselves. Uh, some people, it is their only meal of the day, so we try and bulk it up and really make it a uh, high caloric value. Um, and then in the cafe, the same meal is offered, so whatever's on the menu that we send out to everybody is also uh, here in the lobby, so they can look at the menu. and in the penny saver actually they do it every week they show what we're having for the week and so we do offer that meal in the cafe and we also offer an uh, an alternative so if they don't like what's on there don't let that uh, prevent you from coming in because we try and offer other things um, if you have specific needs if you're a vegetarian things like that we know Hopefully ahead of time, we'll be able to put something together for you. We also produce a homemade soup and a salad for the day. That's great. So, and you can take to-goes. You can give us a call. You don't need a reservation or anything, or you could just come in and say, I'd like a meal to go and bring home. Great. So give us uh, just a quick lay of the land here in terms of the kitchen and the equipment you have. Yeah, we'll here. be careful of your head here. All yeah. of our pots are hanging up here. Um, th this is basically, it's a pretty small kitchen for the amount of food that we get out here. Mm -hmm. We have a prep sinks over here and dishwashing and our nice oven. So we're able to do um, homemade baked goods mm -hmm. and uh, homemade breads and stuff. So that's really nice to have that kind of equipment. Perfect. And then we have just our freezer space and stuff in the back. It's not too big. It's not a huge operation. We have a real small mm -hmm. organization, um, but we accomplish a lot. And I think that's... So a little over 100 meals a day. 
on the road and then we serve you know typically today not so much because there's other uh, activities going on but on a daily basis we serve anywhere between 15 and 20 people in the cafe we have a birthday dinner which is usually a meat and potato meal once a month and we have a couple of other special things tomorrow is our Valentine's Day dinner um, and we typically can get upwards of 40 to 50 people there and then we we don't waste anything so anything that's uh, left over for the day we freeze and send to, to home delivered for the weekends so they never have a meal where they're you know a day where they go hungry so you do seven days a week except four out in the cafe right? that's correct yep we're open in the cafe Monday through Friday um, and our hours are from 1130 to 1 and we serve the five days a week meals and then the two frozens for anyone who wants it for the weekend so they can heat all of our um, dishes that we send out are microwavable safe and freezer safe so they could just pop in their microwave and have a meal on Saturday or Sunday great well thank you very much thank you. I'll let you get back to cooking all right thanks We're here in the business office with uh, Vicki Gardner. Vicki, uh, tell us a little bit about the administrative side of the program here. How do people find out? How do they qualify? Who's it open to? Those types of things. Okay, it is open to um, anyone uh, 60 years or older, mm -hmm. um, or if you are disabled under 60, it, it's also open to you. That's the home delivered. The cafe is open to anyone. So it's open to the public. I could go yes. in there right now and have lunch if I yes. want. Yes. Great. So the home delivery, uh, so how do people, uh, once they know they qualify, how do they sign up for the program? Well, if you're 60 years or older, mm -hmm. you would call the Council on Aging. Okay. And I have their number here. Perfect. If you're interested, it's 800-642-5119, mm -hmm. and they will set you up, and you're able to um, start whenever you'd want. You can have a meal every day. You can have it three times a week. And we also um, deliver frozen meals mm -hmm. for the weekends. And if holidays, if we're not open, Great. you can get frozen meals. So you won't miss a day with a meal. And if you're under 60 and you're disabled, we ask you to call the Vermont Council for Independent Living. Mm -hmm. And their number is 800 six three nine one five two two great and I'm assuming at any point if people have questions they can certainly come to the office here and you'll help them oh out. certainly and there's a brochure here that they can pick up uh, to get additional information yes. about the program Perfect. Yes. now uh, just so people are aware we are at 124 Pleasant Street mm -hmm. which is in the building uh, right below the senior center on the yes. ground floor which is a great location I think in terms of walking distance for downtown it's great you can come to the art classes upstairs or they have uh, Zumba upstairs mm -hmm. and then you can come down for a nice healthy meal great and how long have you been with the program I've been here just over a year now great and what has your experience been so far it's fantastic terrific it's it's fantastic I love it terrific well thank you very much for your time oh, and thank you for thank you. Uh, letting us uh, look around the uh, organization thank you great thanks so uh, a couple different options right yes what are my yes. options today today well first of all I'll start off with our soup yeah. Which is, uh, what am I looking at? It doesn't uh, matter. Um, we have an Italian mambo uh, vegetable soup. Okay. Uh, it's got a chicken base. Yeah. And lots of fresh veggies. Great. Uh, I'll definitely do one of those. Also. And, I, and I think our uh, Alicia is going to have one as well. Great. Uh, so two. It's coming up. Yeah. And then our main meal today is tortellini. It's been tossed with uh, roasted garlic, roasted Great. tomatoes, mm -hmm. spinach, and chicken. Great. It's a nice toss served with. Uh, we'll do two of those too, okay. for sure. Okay. That was easy. Yes, it is. And, and what about drinks? How do they And drinks then uh, we have coffee, tea, iced tea. Okay. Uh, we have some juice and water, and you may help yourself. A lot okay. of people will do that, but I'd be happy to get it and serve it to you as well. If we're I think we can get our own. And then how do we pay at the end? And in the end, um, there's a cookie jar there. Okay. We have a suggested donation on the table, and you can just put your money right into that cookie jar. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Spotlight on Downtown here at the Bennington County Meals on Wheels program. As always, be sure to check us out, the BBC online at uh, the Better Bennington Corporation or betterbennington.com. Also, uh, Better Bennington Corporation is on Facebook, so check us out on Facebook. And if you have any questions or would like to have your business featured in the next edition of Spotlight on Downtown, feel free to give us a call uh, at the Better Bennington Corporation. I don't know about you, this looks terrific 
and I'm going to take a bite and say sayonara for now. We'll see you next month. Thank you. <laughs>